This is Chippy from UMCPortal.com. Uh, it's Friday 24th of April 2009 and I just want to take the chance to go through uh, the progression of, from UMPCs of 2006 to UMPCs of 2009 to see exactly where we are uh, in the, at the moment with UMPC. So what I've got in my hand here is one of the original origami UMPCs. This one's from Tablet Kiosks. Um, it weighs about 900 grams. It's got a 7 inch 800 by 40 screen. Um, it's a fairly industrial design. There's no keyboard. Uh, battery life's about two and a half hours. And this was pretty much state of the art in 2006. Built actually on low power laptop um, uh, CPU and GPU. So it's a Celeron 900 in here. Actually, sorry, this has got a Pentium 1, one gigahertz in it with the GMA uh, 950 GPU. Actually, pretty much uh, close to the early netbooks that came out in 2007. Pricing for this one was about 1,200 euros. So then we got to 2007, where Intel created the uh, Macassan platform, and this was basically an optimized uh, CPU with a similar GPU and some uh, smaller, uh, a smaller die, allowing them to get the size down. So again, 700, uh, sorry, 7 inch screen, but this was a 1024 by 600, much, much lighter. This was under, I believe, 700 grams, and with a battery life that went uh, 3 hours on the standard, standard battery, 6 hours on the extended battery. You can also see there's a little bit of a uh, change in design. It looks a little bit uh, nicer. They've got a little set of keyboards here, stereo speakers some controls on the left and right, there's a cam on the front, cam on the back, uh, VGA out, uh, dual array mic, so they're starting to put some, some features in. This, was, so this is 2007 going through to 2008 on the McCaslin platform, but now uh, 2009 we're able to see the first of the devices that were built on the Menlo platform. Uh, Menlo was announced in 2008. Menlo is a completely new CPU, Intel Atom CPU, and a completely new GPU as well, which has really allowed a massive uh, step forward in um, the size of UMPCs. Not only the size, but the processing power is pretty much the same, but the battery life has improved uh, incredibly. So we're now talking about a device that's not 900 grams uh, with two and a half hours battery life, it's 400 grams with five hour battery life. In fact, this one can go six hours uh, playing video. Um, so let's just go back there. That's how far we've come. Seven inch, 800 by 480, two and a half hour battery life, 1200 euros. And we're now down to five inch screen, six hour battery life, uh, 500 grams, actually this one's 450 I think grams, and a price of around 500 euros. So that is an incredible step forward. Um, we're also seeing different designs now based, uh, based on the Menlo platform which are quite exciting. This is a very small um, laptop style device. Um, this one has four hours battery life, very similar processing power. Uh, it's got a built-in webcam but a very portable form factor for, um, well actually I'm actually using this one for uh, all day Skyping, instant messaging, I've got TweetDeck running on this and uh, some notifiers as well and it will last for five hours in your pocket on connected to uh, Wi-Fi. There is actually a 3G version of this as well. So all in all we've come a long way and the uh, UMPCs of 2009 are really starting to match the, the marketing of the uh, 2006 origami UMPCs and it's, uh, it's quite exciting but there's two more things that need to happen number one software we need to get better operating systems that allow users to choose between social and productivity use and operating systems that attract developers it's badly needed but I think that's going to happen in 2009-2010 with, with OS's like uh, uh, Mobilein and Android number two battery technology hasn't changed in three years needs to change I don't know what's happening with the uh, battery manufacturers but they need to get off their uh, backsides and do something because they're not keeping up with the rest of the uh, ecosystem but overall we're in an exciting position right now with UMPCs five inch screen devices can take on and uh, converge 
a number of pre-existing markets, so media players, navigation, mapping, uh, microblogging, ebook reading, the full web experience, and uh, mobile productivity. Even grab-and-go desktop PCs are possible now as the and portable gaming maybe uh, if we can get developers on board. Um, these are all areas that smartphones can't raise due to productivity issues and I think it's really showing now what the UMPC market is uh, capable of. Looking forward to 2009, 2010 and Moorestown, what might happen with Moorestown is that this will slim down to about half the thickness and probably improve battery life all day standby, sorry, on standby. So this sort of situation where you've got Skype running in the background, all day battery life. So we're having mini communicators. It's going to be very exciting and uh, we look forward to 2009, 2010 and beyond at umcportal.com. So this has been Chippy with a look through the last three years of UMPCs and the, step, the steps forward we've made. Very exciting time. Thanks for watching.